1,000 words. I say one video is worth 1,000 pictures, perhaps millions. The world is becoming a video world because of some market forces at work, primarily the awesome amateur video making. When you watch TV, you are seeing a collaboration of video capture from professional editors and movie makers. But rising up from the difficult field of professional video is an entire movement of amateurs who, perhaps, will set the stage for future movies and television. In this speech, I'm going to show you the history of amateur video, the recent breakthroughs of technology, the marketplace, and how easy it is to create your very own video. First, the tool amateurs use, the digital camera, is today affordable and easy to use. But it hasn't always been that way. Cameras of the past have been bulky, difficult to understand, and, above all, extremely expensive. Only professionals were able to afford cameras of any worth. But today, cameras cost as little as a couple hundred dollars, and they're easier to understand than programming your VCR. This camera is how filmmaking came about. Thousands of pictures were taken on actual filament paper, strapped together and shown at very high speeds. But the film had to be wrapped around the tracking wheels in a very specific order, which made working with these cameras intimidating and very difficult. Needless to say, editing or putting your film into anything useful was nearly impossible, let alone horrible. Most of us are probably familiar with the videotape phenomenon. Well, the 8mm and 16mm cameras never really brought the amateur into the video making world. The inexpensive and easy to use features of the VHS brought family filming into the common world. The beauty of the VHS method for video capture is that the film wasn't wrapped around the tracking wheels by the user. The camera, as well as the actual VHS recorder, did all the recording. You and the camera person merely needed to aim and shoot. However, there were still barriers to making the VHS video camera equipping to the amateur. First, the quality wasn't that great. Second, editing wasn't really editing. The only way to edit something on a VHS video camera was to re-record the film onto other film, naturally reducing the already poor quality even more. But probably most importantly, there was no way to get the video out of the VHS world and into the real world. There were no solutions to getting your camera footage onto a useful editing environment, like your local computer. The next stage of cameras overcame these barriers. Though we still call filming, few do film anymore. Everything is digital. The magic of digital allows average computer users to capture, edit, and publish simple home videos. And cameras are extremely affordable. My camera cost me under $200 on eBay, and a brand new camera wouldn't be too far from that. Its features drove amateur video making into a workflow that made today's video world possible. What features were these? The obvious one is the size. Most cameras today can fit in the palm of your hand. And it's light too, not needing to weigh on the camera on the shoulder. Batteries are smaller, digital tapes are smaller, everything is smaller on the digital video camera. Most importantly, though it's the one thing that ultimately blew open the market for amateurs, is the ability to download onto your local computer. This is more significant than you might think. Now that the camera can be easily transferred to the computer, amateurs, like myself, can do the actual editing rather than leaving the editing to a professional. don't just pick up a camera and start shooting. There's a process they need to go through. The first step of which is to plan. This is my little brother Joshua. Recently I made a music video on him and the first part of planning was choosing the song. The song I chose was I Was Made to Love by Toby Mac. I listened to the lyrics of the song and in the first stanza I planned four specific shots of my little brother Joshua. The first line is, the dream is fading down and staring at the door. I had a shot of Joshua knocking on the front door. I know it's over because my feet have hit the cold floor. I then had a shot of Joshua walking across the floor. Check my reflection now you're feeling what I see. I then I plan.
playing at the shop, Joshua, will do near dancing the music. It's no mystery. Then I play at the shop, Joshua, sitting on the couch and looking at a coloring book. Not really a mystery book, but for a two-year-old, it will do. To truly create an amateur, there needs to be a methodology. Before even turning on the camera, the good amateur will take great measures to plan their video out. When the plans are finished, you're set to move on. I took the star of my story, Joshua, and put some cute quotes on him and called his hair nice. Then I took the shots that I planned to take for the lyrics of the song. After I had the clips I needed, I took the extra takes for the middle and the end of the song where it says, I was made to move, and be loved by you. Yeah, I pretty much the same thing over and over This is where the digital camera does its magic. It doesn't take much to push a button, focus on your visual, and start recording, much like I'm doing with my judges right now. Downloading. Downloading is one of the most important steps there is to making an amateur video. But it was one of the hardest steps to with the 8mm cameras and even VHS cameras. But today, downloading is so easy, I can even pull it off in an Xbox round. editing tools and amateurs can use, and I use iMovie and Final Cut. You may be surprised to know that editing is the most time-consuming part there is to making an amateur video. With my little brother Joshua, I took over two hours of film and had to edit it down to a mere five minutes. Once editing, computer software allows you to transfer the content to a DVD or even publish it online. Google video for Joshua's I Was Made Love. Thank you.